Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Wednesday, the Feast of the Dedication of St. John Lateran. The anniversary of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica, which was erected by the Emperor Constantine, has been observed on this day since the 12th century. This feast was at first observed only in Rome, but later in honor of the Basilica, which is called the Mother Church of Christendom. The celebration was extended to the whole Latin Church. This action was taken as a sign of devotion to and of unity with the Chair of Peter, which as Saint Ignatius of Antioch wrote, presides over the whole assembly of charity. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall, shall declare your, your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the bridegroom of his church. Come, let us worship Christ, the bridegroom of his church. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Come, let, let us, us worship, worship Christ, Christ, the bridegroom of his church. church. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come, Come let, let us, us worship Christ, the bridegroom of his church. church. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Come, Come let, let us, us worship, worship Christ, the bridegroom of his church. church. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Come, Come let us worship Christ, the bridegroom of his church. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Come, Come let us worship Christ, the bridegroom of his church. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the bridegroom of his church. Please be seated. My house will be called a house of prayer. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, in your holy temple. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. 
mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Praise the Lord in the assembly of His holy people. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with strimbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facet of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba and empties into the sea the salt waters, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, Fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. 
The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge and our strength, a never present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken, and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things He has wrought on earth. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it, for no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, that my name may be there forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and dragged them all out of the temple area with the sheep and the oxen, and spilled the coins of the money changers, and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take this out of here, and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of Scripture, Zeal for your house will consume me. At this the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? And Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. And the Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The Feast 
of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica. What is this Lateran Basilica? My dear friends, we have four major basilicas in Rome. Kapag sinabi natin major basilica, it's a basilica or a church with the highest honor. And we only have four. St. Peter's Basilica, where the Pope resides. St. Paul Basilica. So alam mo natin yan. Dedicated to St. Peter and to St. Paul. And the third one is the Basilica of Mary Major. Dedicated to Mary. And the fourth one, Lateran Basilica. And the Lateran Basilica is actually called the Mother Church of all Christendom. So among these four basilicas with highest honor, Lateran Basilica is given, is considered to be the Mother Church of all. Why? Because this is the only basilica dedicated to the Lord Jesus Christ. That is why the original name of the Lateran Basilica is the Basilica of Christ, our Holy Savior. This is the original name of the Lateran Basilica. Then eventually, after centuries, further bas dedication were done. Kaya naging Basilica of St. John the Baptist. Then another dedication happened after centuries. St. John the Apostle. Okay, the complete name of the Lateran Basilica is the Basilica of the Most Holy Savior and St. John the Baptist and St. John the Apostle Basilica. Ito yung buo. And it is called Lateran Basilica because this was erected in the land donated by the Laterani family in Rome. Kaya ngayon, ang tawag ko sa kanya, San Giovanni de Laterano, or Lateran Basilica. Why celebrate? Eh, nasa Roma naman yun eh. Bakit tayo dito sa Pilipinas, kinakailangan natin ipagdiriwang? As I have mentioned, this is the mother church of all Christendom. Siyang pinakaangat sa lahat. For centuries, dito po nakatira ang Santo Papa. Dito po lahat inangat or inintrown ang sa lahat ng Santo Papa until 1870. Until finally, lumipat po doon sa Vatican. The smallest state in the world. Currently, nandun po ngayon si Pope Francis. Anong ginagawa ngayon ng Basilica nito sa Roma? Well, you know, the primary title of the Pope is the Bishop of Rome. And this Lateran Basilica served to be the Cathedral of Rome. So magkaiba po yung doon sa Vatican, outside Italy. And then in, the, in Italy, Rome, in Rome, we have the Cathedral and this St. John Lateran Basilica. Sa ngayon, nagmimisa ang Santo Papa doon tuwing Holy Thursday. Doon siya nagmimisa. And for us Dominicans, noong 2017, nagkaroon, nagkaroon po kami ng reenactment ng confirmation of the order 800 years ago. What are the special features that you will see inside this basilica? Alam nyo, lahat ng mga pilgrimages, hindi po pwede hindi daanan itong basilikang ito. There are unique features you will see inside this basilica. The first one is yung colossal statues. Pagpasok nyo po, makikita nyo yung mga statwa ng 12 apostles. But if there is something unique, kulang po ng isang apostles doon. Wala po si Matthias. Ang ipinalit, si San Pablo. Malalaki po yung statwa na nandun. Hindi po buo, ang ipinalit po si San Pablo yung ikadose. Relics, of course. Ang daming relics doon. Doon mo makikita. Ang pinakamagandang relics doon, malaki, is yung the wood, yung may nakasulat with the title of Jesus in the crucifixion. Inri, indicating Jesus as the King of the Jews. Nandoon po. Yung mga pako, nandoon din po makikita. At ito pa, 
yung greater, greater part of the sponge used to give vinegar to Jesus. Nandun din po. Ano pa? Outside the building, you will see, meron po isang structure doon na matulis. Obelis. Sabi po, ito yung dosing obelis na dinala ni Reina Elena galing sa Egypt. And the biggest one is in the Lateran Basilica. Siya yung pinakamalaki, doon mo makikita. At nakasulat po doon sa obelis na yun, Constantine, Emperor Constantine, as the defender of the Catholic faith. Ano pa? Of course, nandun yung Scala Santa, yung hagdanan, the Holy Stairs. Kung kayo po'y pupunta sa Roma, isa po sa mga dadaanan bilang bahagi ng inyong pilgrimage is yung dumaan doon ng nakaluhod. Hindi po pwedeng umapak doon ang paa. Aakyat ka sa, sa hagdanan ng nakaluhod. This is actually the stairs. Sabi po kung saan naglakad si Jesus habang bitbit ang cross. Ang ginawa ni Reina Elena, dinala sa Roma. Familiar ba sa inyo si Reina Elena and Constantine? Maalala niyo po, tuwing Mayo, Flores de, Flores de Mayo, Reina Elena at yung bata, Constantino. Sila po yung laging malaking bahagi po sa pananampalataya natin sa simbahang katolika. And lastly, something to do with the Lateran Basilica, meron po tayong tinatawag na Ecumenical Council. Four times po nagkaroon ng Ecumenical Council sa Lateran Basilica. And these are just a few of the significant doctrines or dogma formulated during this council. The first of all is the annual confession of every Catholic. Dito po ginawa, formulated, na dapat bilang isang katoliko, mangumpisal tayo isang beses sa isang taon or frequently. Kaya sana po, mga kapatid, malapit na po ang panahon ng Adviento, matatapos na ang taon. Why not give a chance to make our confession? At the same time, receive the communion during Holy Week. Kaya kung napapasin nyo, during Holy Friday, Good Friday and Saturday, wala pong misa doon. But the, all Catholics are encouraged to visit the church and to attend, to attend the celebration for the reason for us to be able to receive Holy Communion. And lastly, the most important one is the word transubstantiation to be the name in this Eucharistic doctrine. Alam niyo po ba yun? Maya-maya po sa misa, yung pag-akyat po ng body of Christ, magkakaroon po ng change of substance in the bread and wine. Change into the body and blood of Christ. And that word is called transubstantiation. At marami pang iba. But more than anything else, if we are going to connect this in our gospel today, the story tells about Jesus who was so angry after finding out that people were making the temple a marketplace. You know, listening from the second reading today, St. Paul tells us that we should know, we should know that we are the temple of God and that the Holy Spirit of God dwells in us. And it's a good reminder for all of us, the value of persons. The church is not simply bato, but now, in the context today, in our faith, the church is tao. And that is why you will see the church really values persons. Hindi pwede sa atin na kahit anumang paraan, pwede mong patayin ang tao, patayin ang bata, o patayin ang batang nasa sinapukunan. We cannot accept that in our teaching because we believe and we value the presence of every person. That this is the temple of God and the Holy Spirit 
dwells in each of us. Please all stand. Our Savior dwells within the living temple of His church. A baptized people gathered around the successor of St. Peter. We pray to our Father inspired with the Holy Spirit, and for every petition we shall say, Lord, bless us, your living temples. Lord, bless us, your living temples, that the universal church may grow in unity and faith through our fidelity to the Pope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. That nations may live in peace and avoid vindictiveness and rivalry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. That those searching for God may find the rock of Peter's faith and the courage of St. John the Baptist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples that we may demonstrate our faith by the way we care for and use this church building. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. For the prior provincial, and for our brothers and ministry at Bahay Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. For the intentions of Reverend Father Teodoro Gok Opi, who is celebrating his birthday today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. That the dead may become living stones in the eternal temple. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless us, your living temples. Loving Father, you raised the body of your Son, the glorious temple of the resurrection. As his mystical body and temple on earth, we offer our prayers to you, hoping to share in the same resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For in your benevolence, you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer. 
in order to perfect us, the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year, you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Pinagpala ang naparirito sa alat ng ibon. O sana, o sana sa kaitaasan, sa kaitaasan, sa kaitaasan. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Si Cristo ay unitahin Sarili ay inihahi Bilang pagkaitinuhi Pinagsasaluhan natin Hanggang sa siya'y humating Hanggang sa siya'y humating Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grants peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion, maaari niyo pong ibaba ang inyong mas. Sumagot po ng amen, tanggapin ng dalawang kamay, at pakisubo po agad upang maiwasan ang pagkahulog nito.
strengthened by Christ, Blessed Peter has remained steadfast as a rock in his guidance of the church. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, free from the, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by, by the forgiveness, forgiveness of, of their, their sins. sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and to the Son and to the, and and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Strengthened by Christ, blessed Peter, has remained steadfast as a rock in his guidance of the church. Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant we pray that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of all your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, and candles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.